Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about pole saws, and specifically this Atlas 80 volt pole saw. Okay, brushless. Um, I have it in a bag. This is why I store it. This is actually a skateboard bag. I pull all the bags. There's actually three parts. Now the skateboard bag I bought for hauling. So I got a property I take care of in the in the cities in Minneapolis. And I bought it off Amazon for like 10 bucks. So I'll put that in the description if you're interested in getting a bag. For yours, it does not come with a bag. All right, so it's, it comes in three parts. This is a 10 inch, and it goes from nine feet to 15 feet. So we'll talk about, we'll go through it, talk about the batteries, talk about the charger, then we'll actually uh, go out and take it and test it and show you what it can actually do. Now, the reason why I bought this is that I already had the Atlas line anyway. That was the only reason. But I got tired of using this. How many guys have one of these in your in your garage? I and mean, they work great for small things, but for the stuff I was cutting was, you know, fairly big. Um, I've had the saw get stuck in the tree, you know, way up there and trying to pull out and it came apart. Yeah, so power works way better. And the Atlas one is my first power one. This, I've just been using that manual one. That's actually my second uh, pole saw, that, that manual one there. All right, so there's three parts to this. We'll go through the head, the power, the chain part. And it does, of course, come with a guard. And then like if all chainsaws, there is a place that you tighten loosen the chain, which is a screw. You just turn that, and, and this will lock, lock the chain or tighten it. Loosen that, tighten up. Because as a chain, um, as you use it, the chain kind of stretches a little bit more use. It does take bar chain oil, and I just use the Menards bar chain oil, which is a huge, if you're not familiar with Menards, it's a huge um, hardware store chain here in the Midwest, especially Minnesota, that is like Home Depot. Actually, one of my favorite stores. All right, that's 10 inch. Um, the Harbor Freight does not sell the chains. I'd recommend just having a spare chain on hand. I'll put that in the description as well. It's the same chain, I believe, that the Bauer, uh, Bauer Chainsaw takes. Okay. And it does, I'll show you how this thing does have connect and there's three parts right okay so we got that end and we got this the other end here okay so there's no way you can get them really mixed up camera down a little more to change it okay so you see that in there let's show you all these connect and if you look in here there is a slot right there and there's a ridge on here so we're going to connect those two and there we go okay that's how you connect that. All right, of course, got your switch here. That does have a locker. I have to press both when I get that on. All right. Well, we're going to talk about the batteries. There's two types of chargers that you can get for this. Um, I have the rapid charger. And the rapid charger, uh, this one runs 79, and there's a regular charger that's for 49. Now the regular charger will charge a 2.5 amp hour battery in two hours. The rapid charger does it in 30 minutes. So you have to decide if that's worth the uh, cost you. $49, uh, $79. 
Okay, we got two types of batteries. Okay, we've got, this one is the four amp hour battery. Uh, these are regularly 249. Um, they go on sale all, uh, periodically for $199. I got two of these. Um, then, of course, you got the 2.5 amp hour battery. Those run $139. They go on sale for $99 periodically as well. Um, I don't know anybody that's running these big batteries, really. I mean, if you're running this big a battery, let me know. I haven't talked to the manager at Harbor Freight, and he's not even running these as long. He got slower ones. He asked me, he's talking to me about like he can't get enough this shy of doing this whole yard, and he is running that lower and battery. And this one hit down for one bar. So I'll just, I'll just show you what that sounds like because the rapid one runs hotter. So there's a fan in it that keeps it a little cooler. And I just want to show you what that, what that fan sounds like. Okay, so I can hear that. It's just a little fan noise. Of course, the other uh, standard charger does not have that fan in it. Okay, let's jump over to the Harbor Freight website. I'm going to show you. So this is it here. So $79. And the thing about, you know, cordless tools is getting in this, these 80 volt lines, no matter what you're looking at, EGO or, or Greenworks or Atlas, is the upfront cost of the batteries right now. You know, if you look at upfront costs for mine, you know, two of those four amp hour batteries, rapid charge, it's $500. So $500 upfront costs. But the, the tools are relatively cheap, right? I mean, low cost, I say, uh, 79 bucks. All right, and there's a, you can see, there's like a picture of that there. And the thing, thing about it too is that, if you look at this, brushless motors cuts better than professional gas. That's a bold statement to say, but if you look at my uh, weed trimmer review, I think they're right, that, that weed trimmer, if you, that review on that, um, that I put, it, it is actually more powerful than my gas. And if you want to go look at more of those uh, Atlas reviews I did, there's an Atlas playlist. You can click on those. This is actually the last one I'll be doing this season. Uh, next season, we're going to be doing the tiller, which just came out. Atlas tiller. Uh, too late in the season to use that now, obviously. And then on the tiller box, there actually shows a auger. Uh, which obviously ain't out yet, but there's an auger on that as well. So that is interesting. That might be something I may get also. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take this out. Uh, we're going to do some cuts around my, around my property, a couple of cuts. Then we'll come back here and finish the review. Okay, guys, so I got this together. I just used two pieces. I didn't need the third one since I'm not going up that high. And the real trick is trying to cut these without it hitting the camera and tripod. This is a pine tree, so we're going to cut... Let's do a couple of cuts on up here, all right? I'm gonna turn it on just to show you what it sounds like. Okay, not that, that's pretty quiet. Way part quieter than a chainsaw, right? Okay, so we're gonna cut this one here. All right. Now let's try and cut these two. Okay, and we're gonna cut this last one here. Hey. So I can see this is what I cut. It does a really good job. I like this so much better than the manual one that I showed you. So let's go back to my shop and we'll finish up the review. All right, you saw that did some pretty good cuts. Also, um, I want to mention that this does come with a strap. Um, in my review of the uh, string trimmer, it had the clamp but did not come with the strap. So if you have that tool, you could use a strap for that weed trimmer as well. Now the thing about this, if you do not have the Atlas line, cause it, you know, that's a pretty big upfront cost. 
um, take a look at the bower. I do not have the bower yet, the bower uh, pole saw. I, I do plan on getting that. Um, a lot cheaper, and plus that you know that bar line takes a lot of those batteries. And also there's a Portland uh, plug-in from Harbor Freight that had some really, really high reviews. So if you have a long enough extension cord, and you know, take a look at that Portland. Uh, one thing I do want to mention about this, that, you know, the cleaning of this, uh, we're going to take this off. So if you're going to store this for a uh, season, you know, take this off, you know, take a shop vac, clean this out really good, you know, and court, there's where the oil seeps out to, you know, to lubricate that chain, like all chainsaws, right? So clean her up, uh, put her away, and it should be good, good for the next season. Uh, if you have any question, guys, uh, I'd like to hear hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy what you're seeing the ch this channel, please subscribe. We have a lot more stuff coming. Thanks.